In this video, we will talk about the design and development of highly efficient nuclear propulsion systems by NASA and other federal agencies that will allow humans to be transported to Mars in just 45 days, which is a huge improvement from current conventional rockets that will take anywhere from 6 to 9 months. When these become operational, it will be of great benefit to NASA, as it would drastically reduce the transit time from Earth to Mars, thereby reducing the amount of time astronauts spend in microgravity and associated health effects, and the amount of radiation astronauts are exposed to in transit. Such technology will facilitate the building of research facilities on Mars and eventually the full colonization of the planet. More about this later. This rocket design constitutes the use of bimodal nuclear propulsion with a wave rotor topping cycle. Don't worry, as I will now explain these terms. I promise you will find this video truly fascinating. There are two types of nuclear propulsion systems currently being developed. These are nuclear thermal propulsion and nuclear electric propulsion. In nuclear thermal propulsion, a low molecular weight propellant such as cryogenic hydrogen is heated to high temperatures with the energy released from a nuclear fission reaction. The heated hydrogen is expelled from the spacecraft at a very high velocity creating a thrust according to Newton's third law. In nuclear electric propulsion, an electric field is generated using the thermal energy released by a nuclear fission reaction and this electric field is used to accelerate an inert gas like xenon to high speeds through an exhaust, providing thrust to the spacecraft. Nuclear electric propulsion is essentially an ion thruster that is powered by a nuclear reactor. The use of both technologies on the same spacecraft is called bimodal nuclear propulsion and offers several benefits and advantages. Nuclear thermal rockets offer the advantage of higher specific impulse than conventional chemical rockets. The specific impulse is the ratio of the thrust produced by a rocket engine to the rate of fuel consumption and is a measure of rocket engine efficiency. Links in the description below. Nuclear thermal rockets can attain a specific impulse of 900 seconds, while the most efficient chemical propulsion systems can achieve a specific impulse of 465 seconds. Furthermore, the nuclear thermal rockets deliver a high thrust to weight ratio. Nuclear electric propulsion, on the other hand, does not have high thrust but has a high specific impulse that can last for thousands of seconds. While the initial thrust is small, spacecrafts with nuclear electric propulsion can accelerate for months or years. These spacecrafts can change direction, slow down, and then increase speed. Hence, both technologies have different advantages and can be complementary with each other. The final part of the design is to incorporate a wave rotor topping cycle into the bimodal nuclear propulsion setup. A wave rotor uses the pressure buildup from the heating of hydrogen to further compress the reaction mass. When combined with nuclear thermal propulsion engine, it would generate an equivalent thrust but will have a higher specific impulse that can reach 2,000 seconds. When a wave rotor is further combined with a bimodal setup, the specific impulse is further increased allowing for transit to Mars in just 45 days. It is important to note that the nuclear thermal propulsion and nuclear electric propulsion technologies have already been examined in the United States under various programs such as NERVA and Project Prometheus. The addition of the wave rotor topping cycle component was proposed by Dr. Ryan Goss in a NASA Innovative Advanced Concepts proposal. Currently, going to Mars from Earth typically occurs every 26 months, when there is a launch window. When this design is operational, transit times from Earth to Mars will take 45 days. Furthermore, orbital alignment will not be necessary for transit, and astronauts will have more operational flexibility options such as aborting missions and being able to return to Earth when things go wrong. This technology will also open the door to crewed missions to the outer solar system. To learn about a NASA study to place humans on Callisto, the outermost of the large moons of Jupiter, and why this moon is so special, please click here. All links to articles used to make this video are in the description below. We acknowledge the universe today and NASA as key sources of information. Thanks for watching. Cheers.